Welcome friends to my channel The Electrical Guy. Today in this video you are going to learn how power wiring of auto transformer starter can be done. Friends in this video I will only discuss about power wiring. In next video control wiring will be discussed. Look here. Here you have a motor. Now you have to turn on this through auto transformer. As you have seen the normal transformer we use I mean step up transformer or step down transformer in these two windings are done. But in auto transformer only one winding is done. In auto transformer in between the winding some taping is connected. As you can see from middle one taping is connected. If you are using auto transformer to start the motor then in your transformer many tapings can be connected if you want to connect these at different voltage and start. But here I will explain you in a simplified manner. This is why only one taping is connected here. Friends the motor and the transformer you have to give power supply to this you need to use a contactor. The way in which we use three contactors in star delta starter similarly here also you have to use three contactors. One contactor will be main contactor, second contactor is transformer contactor and third contactor will be star contactor. What is the work of each contactor I will explain you later. Friends the motor you have for this motor you have to use protection also. So here you have to use an overload relay. This overload relay which you are going to use here what is the work of this and why you need to use listen carefully. To this motor here if you provide high current I mean more current than FLC then motor winding will be destroyed I mean it will burn. This is why for protection of motor we use overload relay. So here you need contactor, auto transformer and also one overload relay. Besides this you also need a MCB here. The MCB which you use here must be 3 pole MCB. Now let's start the power wiring. Power wiring is very simple you just have to listen and understand once. And friends if you understood everything in this video please give a like and a comment on this video. Also if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe. Ok then let's start. For power wiring what you need to do the MCB you have provide incoming power supply to this. I mean bring the R phase and connect here. Y phase here and B phase has to be connected here. So to the MCB provide input power supply. Now from outgoing terminal of MCB I mean from here connect one wire and connect this wire with one terminal of contactor. Now with other terminal that is Y phase terminal connect one wire and connect wire with middle terminal of contactor. From third terminal connect one wire and connect other end with this terminal. This main contactor also received main power supply. Take this overload relay and connect directly below your contactor. With this main contactor this overload relay is also connected now. If in your overload relay these types of pin are not there then what you will do is by connecting through wires provide incoming power supply to overload relay. Now here the overload relay you have the outgoing terminal of this like T2, T4, T6 from these terminals connect wire and to the motor provide power supply. Through a cable I provided power supply. The winding of this motor is either connected in star or delta. So I provided power supply to this motor. Here I only did connection of DOL starter. Now this DOL starter is to be connected to auto transformer starter. What you have to do this MCB here from outgoing terminal of this or incoming terminal of contactor connect one wire and to this contactor here provide incoming power supply. So I connected R phase at this terminal. Now also connect Y phase from here and to the second terminal of this contactor connect Y phase at this terminal. After this this B phase here from B phase also connect one wire and to this contactor at third terminal here connect this wire. Friends this transformer contactor here is used only to provide input power supply to this transformer. I mean just after the contactor is turned on power must be supplied to transformer. If this contactor is not on then power will not be supplied to transformer. So here the contactor you have you provided input power supply to this. Now what you have to do from outgoing terminal connect one wire and to the transformer connect wire at one terminal. Same will be done for Y phase and B phase also. So to this transformer you provided input power supply. Friends you must have seen in winding two terminals are there. One is starting and other is last one. To the starting terminal you provided input power supply. These last terminals need to be shot together. I mean to connect in star. But here we don't connect directly in star. For this we use a contactor to connect in star. The way in which you use contactor to connect motor winding in star in star delta starter. Similarly in auto transformer starter also you have to use star contactor. What this star contactor do in this transformer 
this second terminal here it will connect these in star for this what you have to do connect one wire from here and connect other end with any one terminal of contactor similarly for y phase also connect a wire from here and connect other end to middle terminal take b phase wire also from here and connect on the first terminal here you provided input power supply to contactor at outgoing terminal short these terminals together now transformer is connected in star to this transformer at input terminal and output terminal connection is done friends in this transformer the taping which is connected here depends on how much percent voltage you want to give to start the motor it may be 50% or 60% or 70% it depends on you how much voltage you want to give to start the motor now what you have to do in this auto transformer the taping here connect one wire with taping and to the main contactor at outgoing terminal connect this wire so i connected r phase here similarly connect y phase from here and to the second terminal here connect this wire connect b phase from here and to the main contactor at outgoing terminal connect this wire the power wiring of auto transformer starter is completed now okay then let's understand how this auto transformer starter works before understanding this first listen to one more thing that the induction motor you use takes high amount of current during starting almost 5 to 6 times the winding designed here cannot tolerate this much current that is if we provide 5 to 6 times starting current in the starting then motor winding will slowly burn out motor can also burn or it can be destroyed for protection of this what we will do at the starting time of motor we apply less voltage in this transformer taping is connected this taping depends on how much it is connected suppose this taping is done on 70% then apply voltage here i mean the voltage we apply here 70% of this voltage we will get here from here through a wire we connected a motor this motor here how this will be started at less voltage how this going to work on this much voltage understand this first first of all to start this motor you have to turn on the mcb when you turn on the mcb power supply will flow from here to the incoming terminal of main contactor and to the incoming terminal of transformer contactor till now you didn't turned on any contactor when you press start push button on pressing start push button firstly this star contactor here will turn on what happen then is in the transformer the second terminal here it will short together i mean connected in star so first this transformer is connected in star now when star contactor turn on just after then this transformer contactor turn on the power supply which is here will start flowing further and it will go to this transformer in this transformer from the taping power supply flows from here and goes to this overload relay now secondary terminal of overload relay i mean output terminal from here power supply flows to the motor so that only 70% voltage this motor will get friends the voltage here can be 70% or even less than 70% it depends on how much you did the taping for example we considered the taping as 70% here the motor you have here is started at 70% voltage so starting current is reduced and the starting voltage applied is also low now if motor maintains the 70% rotation or speed then the timer at that time will turn on the main contactor and transformer contactor and star contactor will be turned off what leads to is power supply will flow directly from here to the motor it means full 415 volts will be supplied to the motor now motor will start running smoothly so friends in this way auto transformer starter works and in this way we do the wiring of auto transformer starter i mean power wiring I hope you like this video if you like this video please do like share and comment on the video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video